This segment of Delmarva Life is brought to you by Delmarva Dental Services. Okay, so uh, when people talk about things they really don't want to do sometimes, maybe you too, I know I do, they'd rather say, you know what, I'd rather have a root canal. Uh, now, if you never had a root canal, just hearing somebody say something like that is probably enough to make you never want the procedure done on you. <laughs> but the dentists at Delmarva Dental Services say it shouldn't be that way. In fact, they say there are misconceptions about root canals that need to be done away with. And that's what we're doing today. Dr. Joseph Harmon of Delmarva Dental Services says root canals get a bum rap. You know, people like to tell negative stories. I mean, you don't hear the good stories, you, you hear the bad stories, and you remember the bad stories. He adds that's probably because there are misconceptions about the procedure. Well, there's really uh, three misconceptions. One misconception is that root canals hurt. Another misconception is um, that you remove the roots of the tooth and there's no roots. And the third misconception is that why have a root canal? You're going to lose a tooth anyway. But before addressing those misconceptions, it's important to know what a root canal is and why you need it. Or the nerve inside the tooth is infected or dying. Uh, what you do is you remove the root, um, the root canal or the inside of the root. There's a canal inside, kind of like the plumbing, so to speak. You make a hole like this if there isn't already a hole, basically. So, and then you go snake the pipe like this. And in this case, there's two canals. Sometimes there's actually one behind the other, and there's three or even four. Dr. Harmon says it can be caused by trauma to the nerve, a cracked tooth, even a deep cavity. It's basically anything that irreversibly damages the nerve of the tooth. Once the canal is cleared of the affected nerve, it's filled with a rubber-like material called gutta percha to seal the canals. Dr. Harmon says where the root canal procedure has improved over the years is in how they're able to measure the exact length of the canal, starting with better x-rays. But the development of the digital x-ray really helped in about the 1995. The digital x-ray actually allowed us to see things and measure things better. Digital x-rays were basically brought about about 1995 and they really started getting heavy use in the 2000s. Prior to that, we had film x-ray, and film x-ray, what you would have to do, you'd have to take the film like this, take it out, and you'd measure, uh, you would measure the root length on here. Dr. Harmon says that's important because teeth have different numbers of roots and canals, and some roots are straight while others are curved. On a film x-ray, you're looking at something very, really small, you're and about like this. A digital x-ray, you can blow up to the size of the screen and you can measure it so you can see things that you couldn't see before. So your measurements of the root length are more accurate and your measurements of uh, the number of canals or the number of roots is more accurate. Mm -hmm. Taking it a step further is the 3D x-ray. This image allows dentists to get a cross section of the tooth, seeing it at every angle. Dr. Harmon says he reserves the 3D imaging for special cases. It's been valuable when a root canal, if a root canal fails and you're trying to find is there an extra canal. Mm -hmm. Number two, is there a crack in a yeah. tooth? Dr. Harmon also uses what's called a video apex finder to confirm the measurements taken with the x-ray. This is called an apex locator and apex is the end of the root and it actually finds the end of the root. It is actually more accurate than using the measurements of the x-ray. But what you do is actually you hook this to one of the files, like this, and you hook this to the patient's lip, and you put this into the tooth, and it gives you a reading on how close you are. It'll beep even, it'll beep, 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 beep as you get close to the end of the root. Another improvement came with the type of instruments used to clean out the canal. Endodontic files made of nickel titanium and precisely measured to the canal length have been used for the past hundred years and are still used today. Dr. Harmon says in the past decade or so, rotary instruments have made their way into dental offices. They're easier to navigate through the mouth and they're flexible enough to get into the curved canals. You can gear it down. If you have a curved canal, you can actually go down and go slower around your curves. Now, back to the misconceptions about root canals. The first, it hurts. The anesthesias that we had aren't as now are a lot better than we used to have, and we have better techniques of numbing the tooth. 
In fact, Dr. Harmon says if he can't numb the tooth, he won't do the procedure. Misconception number two, the root is removed. As we just learned, it's not just the nerve within the canal. And misconception number three, you're going to lose the tooth eventually. Dr. Harmon says without the nerves in the canal, you might not feel the tooth like before, but it's still alive and well. That means you still need to take good care of it, just like all the other teeth. By bunking the myths one root canal at a time, Dr. Harmon hopes patients give the procedure a fighting chance. And I always say to the people when they have a root canal, I say, don't listen to what anybody's going to say. Because as soon as you tell somebody you're going to have a root canal, they're going to tell you another horror story. And so I say, and then afterwards I say, see, it wasn't that bad. And nobody believes you until it's done. And then I say, well, go back and tell that person it wasn't bad. You know? I've never heard anyone say I had a fabulous root canal, maybe now. Well, Dr. Harmon says the earliest root canal evidence was found in archaeologists in Israel, by archaeologists in Israel. He says a bronze wire was found inside a tooth of a Roman soldier dating back to 200 or possibly 300 BC. And to read more about root canals and their bum wrap, or to learn more about the doctors at Delmarva Dental Services, just go to our website, delmarvalife.com.